So Earp was all over the place. And if this, if this uh, stone monument wasn't enough, they put the sign next to it. And who knows if you ever wandered out this way in the, in the, in the, from the city. I saw you walking this way and I didn't know if you'd like to walk across the country. Do you work here? Yeah. Oh, you're the mower guy, right? Yeah. Taking out all those dandelions? <laughs> Trying to. That's quite very much. It's a, big, it's a big battle this time of year for you. Yeah. You get some awesome in there? Where are you from? Here. I'm, I'm, right. not, I'm not being nosed. I just thought maybe you were Sounds like you are. No, I get some people. That, you won't believe it. I got a guy that... What about those? Why don't you ask? Why don't you talk to those people that smoke the weed in that band show? Well, not right now, but I mean, I've been noticing a lot of people in and out of the band show. I don't know, but have you noticed that? No, I mean, I just saw a guy one time come through on bicycles. They rode all the way across the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose that's that's pretty rare to see because it's difficult to take the roads. They're pretty dangerous. Yeah. yeah. You should you should watch uh, the activity around there. Do you get you guys have cameras? Do you check your cameras? We don't have any that reach that. That's why they're doing it. All they reach is in front of our shop. They're like they're selling they're selling each other drugs over there. So we saw it yesterday. Yeah, there's like it's kind of rare, but uh, it was like some some people uh, parked there and then uh, they stayed maybe thirty minutes with their music blaring and then they left. But uh, I. You know, it was like one one guy said, "Here's your care package," and he's like, "There's edibles in it." And it's I was parked over there, and it's like, uh, "This is this this is an in and out type of uh, it's a good hiding spot in in, in, in Illinois." Oh yeah, oh, individuals can sell each other. The, I mean, but yeah, I meant no offense. I just I was curious if you were yeah, you're 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 uh. You got to manage the park. You got to make sure uh, things things uh, make sense to you, and what makes sense to you is uh, what the story is that you're making up in your head about me, yeah. and and my car. Story of no, you, you go. That's the story. Yeah, that's what I heard. So you can smoke in a car, apparently. Like that makes a big difference. Galesburg, Illinois, Galesburg, Illinois. So it looks like the main part of the mall, the center part has closed down, but they've still got businesses all around the outside. Oh my God, you can. People are slipping in in here. Huh. Out of order. That's weird. So the doors kind of open up. Here's a warning. The Sandberg Mall management is still... Oh, there's mold at the Bath and Body Works. Any attempt to enter man did they they enter and uh the face so this is one unusual mall that uh they have a bunch of businesses on the outside it's kind of how a lot of businesses gra gravitated look at that they got u-haul tire center warehouse bargains <laughs> none of those businesses are actually attached to the central portion. <clears throat> they shut down the central portion. That seems like a popular thing, but I mean, some malls are successful. The central portion really drives good foot traffic. So, but I mean, most malls fail. So, all the rare malls succeed is unusual. I thought I only ripped my shirt once, but I ripped it twice in two different spots. Some weird kind of uh, double rip here. Did not feel that. 
Story Lake Park outside of Galesburg, Illinois. Story Lake Park outside of Galesburg, Illinois. All right, I'm seeing a little bit of a problem at this park and that I don't see any bathrooms. They got a soccer park, but no porta potties. So I'm gonna wanna do some looking around. Maybe they're hidden. Maybe they hide these uh, bathrooms somewhere possibly. So this is supposed to be a shared bicycle and walking trail and people, some group of people have put a lot of effort into cutting trees down and I'm actually seeing potential walking sti or exercise sticks or also their shade sticks as well. I think I'd like to bring a couple more shade sticks two i'd like two more six foot shade sticks i think i can hold them and i think they do a, me a lot of good to create shade on the roof of my car i have a couple spaces that i'd still like to cover the shade sticks on the roof of my car do a pretty good job yeah like this they just people have this would be okay it was cut down a while ago had time to dry out it's a little thin but that's that's looking kind of good come out here with my saw and knife and debark cut it and debark it and i'd have a, a little bit of a shade stick yeah look at that it's all freshly fresh looking but i'm thinking shade sticks a couple more six foot shade sticks they're not absolutely necessary, but they do catch the sun better than my and and take the the pressure off my car roof. For my budget, I've got a lot of money invested in GoPros. The 9, 10, and 11 plus Max in here, all the lens mods which I have the covers on, plus the the media mod, and I got two lights because I, I like these they're pretty neat not the brightest but they're neat several batteries and a casey and everything plugged in on this outlet that's working in a park it's pretty nice but i'm not i don't have a plug-in for the eight so i have to wait till one of these finishes up charging they have to have a decent bathroom around here somewhere. There are quite a few healthy looking, well dressed people walking around. There's got to be a nice bathroom and everything else is taken care of. My section where I'm at has no bathrooms. But maybe in here somewhere, maybe at the swim swimming beach. This beach is fantastic. Oh, there's a girl laying on the, the beach. Too chilly to swim. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be a bathroom here somewhere. I mean, I've seen buildings that support beaches in the past, but this is the nicest. All right, here's bathrooms. <sighs> Locked. All right, way over here. So I have an emergency. I want to take, I want to have the bicycle ready because it's a bit of a haul. Oh, the door's wide open. All right, got a little startled by these guys. What are they doing in the sink?
it's a little early out. It's trying to keep its distance from me. Looks like a young younger raccoon. This this uh, s parking lot sweeper guy, he didn't even turn his vacuum on. He rolls in at six eight six thirty a.m. Usually they come in late at night. He d he didn't even turn his. I don't hear the vacuum. Usually it's much louder than the sound it's making. It's. I think he he's he's trying to like make it look like he's doing some kind of work it's, uh, vacuuming the, the parking lot but he's not doing anything he's just driving up and down the lanes without the the thing on flashing lights I can hear his music I think he just doesn't know that it's not on and he's just listening to his music but he's just up and down it's the weirdest thing <clears throat> One of the worst job performances I've seen, because I've had to deal with a lot of vacuum guys. <clears throat> yeah, I can hear his music, but no vacuum. And he's acting like he's vacuuming the, the parking lot, which he's not doing at all. He's just kind of scraping uh, the, the unit which is stirring up a slight bit of dust. One of the worst performances. I never thought that that would be possible that somebody would fake vacuuming the parking lot like this. He's coming back down. And at the worst possible time too. They usually do it at night when there's no cars in the lot. thing is not on <laughs> Okay, Lincoln Park's a little bit different. They got some weird structures around here. Water does not work anymore. That's a weird, they painted it. It's a weird fountain. <clears throat> what the heck is this? Is this for bathing your baby? Or they, did they design this for mothers to put their babies in? And then there's a pool over here too. I think all of this is shut down. All, their, all the pipes are probably clogged. But there is, uh, for a while, a pool like almost a splash an early splash pad because splash pads are more popular ones that don't get deeper than two inches they say that 50 people are allowed there's a healthy amount 50 people that's a lot but uh oh here oh no i wonder what year this this looks like it's probably made in the 70s or something so I'm sitting here pacing around this shelter, evaluating it, trying to decide, do I want to hang out here for the day? And I got a lot of good reasons to say yes. There's, I don't see any reservations. I'd like to park here in the corner because I know that by the afternoon I'll be in the shade. This is all morning, sh morning shade right now, or morning sun, which it all could be covered up. So parking is good. It's quiet. The bathroom is that building wide open. They keep it open. Um, everything about it looks good to me. I think there's likely electricity, but if you know if there's not, that's fine. The gnats aren't aren't terrible. All right, gnats are much worse in other places. In these areas, I, um, I think I want to relocate. All right, I guess I'm experimenting with tape, putting tape on uh, seals, 
see if that might help there are some cracks it leaks around here and it must leak on this this is the first line of defense I mean I don't get it it's just cracked a little bit a little tape help All right, because it's raining, I, I put this Gorilla Tape on the inner part of the, the windshield. See if that uh, prevents water from leaking in. Not sure. Downtown Galesburg, Illinois. Galesburg, Illinois. There might be a reason why people don't park at this free parking and crowd around all the others. Uh, see that it's alarming to see the buildings and the bad states that they are. The Moose Club is out of business. A lot of buildings are in bad shape. I'm not seeing, you know, in only 10 minutes I've been sitting there, not really seeing any shady people. So I gotta, look around a little bit more to evaluate this situation better. They demolished something recently over there. What is this, a church? I just need to go straight one more block or two. <clears throat> so far, it doesn't seem bad. Just the buildings are in bad shape. But I mean, criminals sleep in usually. Looks like they used old brick. And they use the same brick for the road. Alright, this might be that Lincoln Sketty Gettysburg Address uh, Monument thing. Gettysburg National Cemetery. I don't know, he didn't he didn't give a speech in Galesburg. He, did, he gave it in Gettysburg, not here. We just finished the, our eight back and 20 brush, or you can still that. Just one that's really big and up there. Yeah, are there meeting rooms? You want to do a Zoom, re Zoom meeting? Um, Zoom meeting. So we do have some quiet areas. Oh, yeah, okay. So I could just kind of make a counter, make a per, I can share personal information with uh, people in the quiet areas. Well, um, our meeting room that we have is upstairs. It's kind of a big. Yeah, I only need maybe an hour or so. It's I don't know the time so exactly. What's the schedule look like? Yeah, I can take a look. Um, I can work in between whatever is scheduled. More so for like library events. Yeah, this is a library event. We're in non-profit. Yeah. Oh, you need the details on the, the meeting? Well, that sounds like you're asking for it. Take a look for it. At the calendar? Yeah, I just uh, want s somewhere to set up the laptop. I mean, it's a Zoom. I could do it on, like, this phone, I guess, outside the library. 
Yeah. I'm sure, the wife died, but uh. To do that, we do have. Some. I can feel free, but I mean, I'm not asking to do that. I'm asking to use the uh, the meeting room. Okay. But if, I mean, I'll have to, it'd be something I would fall back on yeah. more than anything, which I don't want to do. But I mean, well, I can check with my director, but normally, normally we don't have like. Okay, and the written in things. your written in your policy, you, you, is is the norm for you, right? You're not you're not going off of how you've known verbally, you know, how you communicate, how it's used. It's it's actually in your policy. It's in, in our policy. Okay. I'm just finishing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ms. curious about using the upstairs, like a Zoom call. And were you wanting it today or? Yeah, yeah. Um, just uh, I want to like let the person know, you know, uh, if if there's something available, I could do do a meeting. Was that at, something that you were looking for today, though, or? Well, yeah, yeah. It's it's one of them. Uh, well, yeah, it's in the future. Uh, okay. But I mean, it's it's something that's it's like how do you I don't know how do you describe it. It's like playing it by ear. Right. Okay. Um. Let me turn this back on. He'll be right with me. Okay. There's another one. Thank no, you. Yeah. I appreciate that. No, appreciate okay. okay, so nice to meet you, Jim. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so we don't typically make our meeting room available for like individual meetings. Now. Yeah, yeah. It'd be it'd be somebody on the on the internet. I mean, I could have like a hundred people, you know. So all of our meetings upstairs do have to be open like to the public. Oh yeah. So I would keep the door open. I guess. well, I don't really well, people can listen, I guess, but she was suggesting a quiet area, and I, I just, I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, I, can you want to explain the meeting room policy, and then, yeah. I mean, you know it the best, so I'm going to let you take over. Caitlin can kind of explain the use of the room and see if it complies with our meeting room policy, Um, because if it was for today, like, when right. we have anything, yeah. one thing, but if it's for if, the future, it'll go by strictly by the and and I would go I would go in between whatever meetings are happening. I just I'd say you know I tell this person, you know, hey, I can meet at one o'clock or I can meet now, yeah, you know, and so and then wait for his response. If you're meeting then, with an individual, we don't reserve the room for something like that. Oh, um, how many people? What's a minimum? No, it's not necessarily minimum. It's just we only use it for public meetings versus individual meetings. So individual any, anything that you had would be open. OK, how do you describe the individual? Because I'm an individual. Yeah, exactly. And I'll be meeting with somebody on the Internet. So from if you were like a nonprofit group. Well, OK, it's it's some it's like some reporter, I guess, from The Washington Post. Yeah, I so don't that know. sounds like something that wouldn't necessarily. Or they make money. Yeah, right. So we don't so that would the room for. One commercial. That would, that would be considered commercial meeting with uh, news news people. So I'll get, I'll kind of explain the uses of the room. So um, it's available for like um, nonprofit organizations or civic community organizations or like educational classes that are open to the public. Okay. Um, hmm. We unfortunately don't have a space for meetings that you're talking about in this. Building. Okay. We, in the new library, we will, but we're not. Oh, not until early next year, unfortunately. Okay. I'm sorry. Next, that. you said next year. Mm -hmm. Oh, where's where's that? That'll be on Main Street on the corner of Main and Academy, oh, about God. three. It's not. It's not where the dem demolition happened, right? No, it's a couple blocks down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, right. right on the corner of Main and Academy. Um. Yeah. So that's all right. No meetings here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because all meetings have That's, to be open to the public and they have to be like civic or educational yep. in nature. Yeah, because you lose your funding if you let anything else in between uh, get in there. Well, right. we just don't have enough space to open it up. It's in our use, it's enough space. In use all the time. We only have one room. But you're, so you're saying your schedule is busy today? Today it's not. That's why I asked if you needed it today. But if you need it in the future, we can't reserve it for something. We have to leave it available yeah. for it. For the public. Yeah. I'm the public. It's open now. There's nothing scheduled today. But I thought you didn't need it today. No, I didn't say that. Oh, no, I said it's playing it by ear. Yeah. And I would say, hey, you know, I'd tell him because it's like he's waiting on me to say if I can meet. You know, I, I guess I could have just sat in my car and used a Walmart Wi-Fi and used my phone. But I, I was kind of in my head thinking I wanted to use a laptop yeah. and do the Zoom hearing that way. If you needed it like now, 
it's it's available so we could yeah i would i could email him and say i can talk now yeah and see what he says um i would be able to let you up there right now okay it's not something that we can like reserve for a future use okay future or reserves i have certain uh class of rules mm -hmm. but uh, if there's in between the reserve reservations then there um yeah it's it's like uh, open basketball court if you know and if there's a reservation for it then you have to get off kind of like that yeah so okay and no no horse trading you're saying uh commercial stuff is not allowed right so i won't be making any transactions with them i won't be asking money yeah i mean so. i'm not too concerned about that but you know it's just something that like since it's open i can let you out there right now all right and you're saying okay you can let me in like it's locked um it's not locked right now no. oh so well, okay yeah, I'm going to just, I'm going to try and see if there's a, a possibility you can meet in, in a, a bit, a bit. I'm going to message him and, um, let, um, well, I don't know if I'll be using it okay. at, at the moment. And then the other thing is, um, okay. the way that the room is structured, staff sometimes have to walk through it. So even if you were up there, we may have to go in and out of the room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, all right that that's fine okay. you're, you're saying it's it's like uh it's a main street it's like a thorough way for staff has to get to to be able to access certain resources you have to go through there mm -hmm. it's not a dead end exactly okay yeah. all right yeah. okay yep right. that sounds good Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Amazon Prime. They got a lot of boxes going through this town. Never seen so many smiles there. Are those smiles arrows? 